She's here to talk about building and maintaining the brain with stem cells. Almost six years ago today, I stood in anatomy class holding a preserved human brain in my hands. And in that moment, it really hit me. Everything we are is just a product of cells in our brain firing messages to one another. The brain I held in my hand that day was heavy with the person's whole existence, all their hopes, memories, and dreams, encoded in those 170 billion cells. But like any other masterpiece, the more I stood in awe of the brain, the more I wondered, how is this thing created? I thought, where do all of these billions of cells come from, and how is such a delicate brain maintained during our whole lives? I followed my curiosity into a PhD in Dr. Derek Vanderkoy's lab, where I found that neural stem cells can answer both of these questions. A neural stem cell is a very special type of cell that can divide to make one of two things. It can make more copies of itself, or it can produce any of the highly specialized cells that your brain is using right now. There are actually two different types of neural stem cells in the developing and growing brain, and I've studied hundreds of snapshots of them to try to figure out exactly what they do. One thing I found is that stem cells don't directly make specialized cells. They actually first have to transition along a pathway of intermediate cells, and there are six different pathways that they can choose from. So just like how you could have taken many different routes to get here today, so can you, uh, but maybe some routes were more optimal depending where you started from, so do your two starting stem cells have their own preferred intermediate paths, which is what I'm showing you back here. By knowing this, I've been able to create a detailed guide that illustrates how just two stem cells transition via six intermediate cells into all the final cell types of your brain. And I can use this map to gain some insight about neurodevelopmental disorders and also as a blueprint to figure out how we can regenerate the brain um, later in life. Because what I haven't told you is that these two stem cells that helped build your brain when you were a baby stick around and are still in your heads today. But I'm not really doing anything there. In fact, it was really boring when I started studying stem cells in the adult brain, especially this one stem cell in particular called the primitive neural stem cell. This stem cell was dividing maybe three or four times in a whole year. Um, so it was pretty annoying, but luckily, my supervisor pushed me to keep studying it, and what we found was that when you damage the brain, okay, suddenly the stem cell would jolt awake to try to repair that damage. And so for, and even in a mouse model of stroke. And so I nicknamed this cell the grandma cell because it's had this long life of building this whole family of brain cells. And once they've grown up, it just wants to relax. But if something goes wrong or any of its kids get sick, this cell, just like your grandma, can go into recovery mode to help repair any damage. And so I found a few pharmaceuticals that can specifically wake up grandma or the primitive neural stem cell. And altogether, this research brings us one step closer to understanding how stem cells helped build the brain that makes you who you are and how we can try to coax them into rebuilding the brain on demand. Thank you.